So one of the biggest kinds of content I always see on like my For You page is tips about how to study for the MCAT, but I never see tips about cars, so I'm just going to make a quick series as a cars tutor about questions that my students usually have that I think the answers should be more accessible to everyday people. One of the biggest questions I get is concerns about how long they're taking to read the passage because sometimes a lot of people will say you should only spend this much time or you should extend it, etc. The one thing you should know is that there is no exact time that you should have on a CARS passage and there shouldn't be a blanket amount for basically every kind of student. So for example, I work with people who have grown up in the United States or straight out of undergrad, they're comfortable with comprehension, and I've met people who take anywhere from like three minutes to six minutes. Some people can comfortably do four minutes or five minutes and then move on to the questions and be okay. But for example, a lot of the students I tutor where English is their second language, taking time to read the passage can really help them understand words that they may not understand the first time around or pick up on comprehension. And cutting the time down any shorter could actually really harm them because it may take time for them to pick up on things. And this is, again, just a general trend I've seen with those kind of students. So how do you actually figure out what is the ideal time for you? You time yourself, let's say starting off at around six to seven minutes, and see what your accuracy is like. If you're hitting around 75 to 80 percent, then that's awesome, and that's a sign to you that you could probably shorten down your time. And it's good to do that incrementally by 30 seconds or so, so that you're not just pulling the rug underneath your feet, you're kind of giving yourself a gradual amount that you can work into. When you're actually practicing this and trying to figure out how long you should take for reading a passage, do the questions untimed for that time being, because you just want to give yourself a chance to figure out if you read the passage properly, if you picked up on the main idea and key details, and if there's any trends that you're so yeah, hopefully this helped, and if anyone actually sees these CARS tips, please leave questions. Um, I've been tutoring for like a year and a half, and I love to answer as many questions as I can. Thank you.